Hi, my name is Adam. I'm co-founder of Enta Solutions, and I'm here today for another edition of Enta Wonders. And today, we're wondering about First Break All the Rules by Don Clifton. Uh, Don Clifton is the father of strength psychology and inventor of the Clifton Strengths Finder. And this, of course, comes from Gallup. And if you've ever heard of the Q12 Employee Engagement Survey, uh, even if you haven't heard of that, you've certainly done it. If you've ever done an employment engagement survey, all those funny questions come from this Q12. So I've read a ton of books and not everyone knocks my socks off, but this one, this one blew me away. I would say anybody in charge of managing people of any kind should read this book. This is your Bible, your manual on how to um, manage people. So I'll try to just touch on some higher points, but I'm really not even gonna scratch the surface. So first, as a manager, as a leader of people, your number one job or your basic responsibility is to turn talent into performance. Talent into performance. So there are some myths that uh, Don goes through when he talks through this. So first, great managers do not believe that you can achieve anything you, he or she sets his mind to, okay? And they don't try to improve people's weaknesses. This is the whole strengths finder concept. They consistently disregard the golden rule and they play favorites. So at the end of the day, Great managers look inward. They look inside the company to each individual into differences in style, goals, needs, and motivators of each person. So to do this, you have to do four things extremely well. First, select a person for your team. Two, set expectations. Three, motivate the person. And four, develop the person. If you can do all four of those things, then you're doing a great job. So some rules to manage by. Pick the right people, makes sense. Once you pick them, trust them, okay? Don't overpromote. never pass the buck. It's never corporate insists, I am sorry we have to do this. It's you are giving an instruction. And make very few promises to your team, but make sure you keep every single one of them. So there you have it. Lastly, I'll just uh, close with a quote from Jack Welsh, which I think sums up this book nicely. Uh, Any company trying to compete must figure out a way to engage the mind of every single employee. Thanks.